Hi, Greg here, Kiwi Wanderer. Hey, really excited about this video. I have been waiting since the beginning of the year for this bit of kit to run my Starlink on 12 volt. And today, I'm gonna to see if, it, uh, if I can get it going. It's supposed to be plug and play, but we'll see. And if it goes, I'll talk about what it costs and where to get it from. And if it doesn't go, you'll probably never see this video. So, yeah. um, as you know, we love our Starlink internet. Uh, but running on 240 volts when we're in the caravan is a big waste of power. And when you think about it, we start off at 12 volts at our batteries. Then we use our inverter to convert the power to 240 volts, which has some losses associated with it. And then the Starlink router converts it back to 48 volts to run the Starlink. So with this little black box, we use our 12 volts and go straight to 48 volts. And uh, I'll be measuring what sort of power we use uh, if, if it gets going. I do see on the Starlink forums that it's rumored that it only uses 30 watts after it's booted up. So I'll be looking forward to that. Well, I will be, but Sandy's not so concerned. I have tried a number of things to try and get my Starlink on 12 volt. I tried a, uh, a POE, Power Over Internet Injector off Amazon. Didn't go so well. I then purchased a dishy power, which showed great promise, but it wouldn't power up my dish and they have zero support. So after it, five or 10 emails with no answer, I gave up on that. Must put that on trade me before Sandy finds out, finds out how much it costs actually, yeah. Maybe the reason none of these things work was probably because my skills don't quite match what I think my ability is. Anyway, when I saw this one on one of the Starling forums, uh, I ordered it straight away, without even telling the rules. What I liked about this bit of kit is they claimed it's plug and play, well, almost, which would be fantastic if it works. Righto, and if you found something else that works to get uh, Starlink running on 12 volts, please let me know in the comments below. So, today, before I wire it into the caravan, I thought I would test it out with just a battery uh, and video it in case it works. So, what we have here is the black box, which has 12 volts from the battery. They specify a minimum wire size, and for this little test, I have about twice what they recommend. I have also have a 10 amp fuse in the wire as well, just in case. The unit itself is also fused inside and they supply you with spare fuses, which is, uh, that's great. Then we have the connection to the disc. So you, you can cut the st Starlink cable uh, and fit on an RJ45 connector with a custom pin out, which is just, just the way the wiring is organized in the plug. But what I've done is purchased an ethernet adapter from Starlink and cut that instead. Uh, the reason for doing that is then I can leave my original Starlink cable untouched so I still have the original kit as, as, as it comes out of the box. So I made up this end on the adapter but if you don't want to do this because you, you do need special tools and things and it's uh, tiny little wires in there you can go to a computer shop, take it in with a print out of the uh, pinouts and uh, they'll do it for you. I was quoted 40 bucks and of course uh, the RJ45 connectors are supplied in the kit. Next up, we need a router. Basically, any st standard router will work, and to be fair, any router is probably an upgrade on the Starlink router, which has limited range and not many features. The only requirement for the router is it needs to run on 12 volts. Uh, and as you can see, I have a fantastic jerry rig here Obviously, it would be a little bit more permanent in the band. As I said, Starlink uses special connectors, which you can't buy at the moment, so you have to replace the whole cable if one of the connectors buggers up. Uh, so that's why I've used this adapter. And one thing I've learned from the forums is that um, the Starlink connectors should never be plugged or unplugged when the Starlink's all powered up. They just don't like a little bit of power going across the terminals there and arcing and yeah. So first step is to plug in the dishy into there. Now we'll power up the black box. There we go. There's a green light on there, so that's going. 
Okay, so now we need to connect the modem to the black box. So this is uh, pretty standard. It's got a little graphic right there. And you can see the plug on the Oh my goodness, this is this is a good sign. This is uh, oh, I'm quite excited about this. Uh, this means that the Starlink, the dish, has power and it's trying to find satellites. This is further than I've actually ever been. Wow, this is exciting. Well done, Space Tech. Well done. Uh, so now we need to connect. Uh, oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. I've lost what I was going to say. Uh, we need to connect Wi Fi. Uh, oh, I need to connect the motor. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now I need to connect to um, Wi-Fi on this modem in the normal way, and there's the TP link, so I'll we'll just join in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Starlink is now saying it's, uh, it's online. It's interesting, too, because the picture on my phone now doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't have a modem, so it knows that uh, I've bypassed their modem. Very clever. Very clever. Oh, he's trying to find his... Oh, he's trying to find it. Where's he going? Oh, this is exciting. This is all on 12 volt, guys. This is great. Oh, there we go. Pointing south. Oh, no. Let's have a look at a speed test. Might be a bit early for a speed test, maybe. But we'll see. Oh, how long did that take I've got? Uh, over 100 megs down and 12 up. That is fantastic. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm very happy. I'm ecstatic. That is a great bit of kit there. Uh, I'm definitely getting this sorted in the van. It's going to be fantastic. 12 volt powered high speed, low latency internet, anywhere you can see the sky. Could you ask for anything more in life? Well, yeah, you probably could, but I'm lucky there too, because I've got 10. So, okay, we have a very happy Greek here, but what does it all cost? Starlink internet adapter is $65, and you get it modified for another 40. Or if you have the tools, you can do it yourself. There's the RJ connect, the RJ45 connectors that come in the box from Space Tech. Then you need uh, the Space Tech black box. Uh, and this works on 12 or 24 volt and it's 373 New Zealand dollars. And then a way of powering your modem. I think I'm gonna probably do something a little more permanent on this. Um, and I might mount my modem inside one of, the, one of the cupboards. Anyway, this temporary bit of kit cost me $18 from JCAR. And that would plug into the caravan's uh, cigarette lighter plug. And that's it. Very plug and play. This is definitely my new favourite bit of kit. So that's Starlink on 12 volts. I love it. Um, have I said that already? Yeah, I think we have. We have lots of great videos coming up, including a look at what it's like to be involved in the Marlborough grape harvest. And uh, that's where we are what we're doing at the moment. So, yeah. So please think about subscribing and uh, clicking the little bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching. See you out there.